very soft and tender when you see it. That gulai is incredible. I can just drink this gulai by the bottle. That's how good it is. We are at one of the most beautiful mosques in the world. This is our last full day here in Kedah. Yesterday we had our last full day of activities, but first, before we tell you or show you everything that happened on this trip, we want to say thank you. Thank you so much to Kadah Tourism for inviting us to sh show us more of the state. You know, when you think Kadah, a lot of people just know Langkawi Island, which we visited three years ago. The mainland has so much to offer. It's beautiful. Like you have all these beautiful rice patties. Kadah is known as the rice bowl of Malaysia for good reason. And they also say Kadah is where it all began. And speaking of that, we're gonna show you how this whole adventure began. Starting off our time here in Kadah with a bang. So we're, the restaurant actually translates to Paddy Field because we're actually right outside Rice Paddy Field, which is very famous here in the state of Kadah. We got a really interesting spread of dishes here. A lot of it actually looks Thai at first glance, which makes sense because we are right near the Thailand border. We actually are not familiar at all with Kadah cuisine. This is our first taste of it literally right now, and we'll be exploring it over the next few days. I think we're gonna start off here with this soup tulang. Soup tulang actually looks very different than soup tulang we had in Johor. This one is with oxtail. It's kind of a clearer broth. A lot of aromatics in here. I see lemongrass. I see some lime leaf in here, some vegetables. Mm. I haven't had much oxtail here in Malaysia. Like we've had oxtail a lot, like, like Caribbean cuisine, Filipino cuisine. But this one, it really has that beefy flavor, but you get those aromatics too. Like I love the lemongrass in here. Mm. Slightly tangy, but really more on the beefy side. I love that beefy flavor. And you can see how rich the broth is. All these like little dots of fat in here. Mm. Next. Gulai nanka. So it's a jackfruit and gravy. And there's also some fish here to go with it. We love jackfruit. I actually haven't had enough here while in Malaysia. So I'm really excited. Mm. Whoa. A lot of turmeric in here. You can tell from that color. I love the texture of it. Mm. It's very interesting as you have that fish in there. The fish is quite strong. It's, like a, it's a salted fish that goes with it. So you definitely get a combo. It's really unique in that way. Is where that salted fish really gives it a kick. It's a nice funky kick to go with that jackfruit. Wow. Mm. Really nice. This one we have is pakasam. This one we actually we were told on our way over here. This is a specialty in Kadaz. It's a fermented fish. When I heard fermented fish, I think of buru, I think of the different paste. This is actually whole fish fermented. There's actually smashed rice on here too, which is really interesting. Really interesting because it makes sense because Kadaz being the rice bowl, rice, smashed rice. It's fermented. It doesn't smell like funky. It just smells like aged in a way. It doesn't smell like like the typical fishy funky way. Let's give it a taste. Ah, it's very soft. So it's fried, very crispy. And really, I was thinking, it doesn't really taste fishy. It's more on that salty side. And even with that smell, that kind of like aged funk smell in a way, like I actually taste that too. Really, never sees anything quite like this. Oh, I like it. Alright, so we're gonna try this fish with the rice. That's what it's always the best way to eat it. I just wanna try it by itself first, it's the first time trying this. Mm. Definitely the rice tampers that down a little bit to get that sour, salty taste, but the rice kind of mutes it down a little bit. When you try it first, it's really more like explosive, salty, fermented taste, but I like it. Really crispy. Definitely a great intro here to Kadak cuisine. Excited to explore more of it. We also have lots of other dishes here. This one's like uh, an ulam. It's like a lot of different herbs. This one showed up on the plate. It looked uh, very Thai. Again, the Thai influence, I bet it's gonna be very strong here. Mm. It's kind of a tie between the tulang and the nanka. Okay, all right. Fermented dried fish, okay. uh, fried, fried fish, and uh, oxtail. The pakasa? Yes. And the oxtail. All right. Sounds really good. Okay, so it's dessert time, and look what we have here. 
This reminds me so much of Benignet. Mm, this is black sticky rice in coconut milk. Ooh, brings me back home. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it. It's like a porridge, actually. Good morning from Kuda. The scenery here is totally different from anywhere else in Malaysia that we've yeah. been. It's so beautiful and especially in the morning where you see the paddy fields. It's filled. This land is land of paddy fields. Kuda. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for action. The city is waking up right now. Some people are pulling up ready for breakfast. And just watching this guy make this next dish was incredible. It's really, he's putting on a show and it's our first time trying it. First stop on this road trip is this beautiful, delicious, good-looking roti chana, which we've never ever seen before. The way they do it is just an art. This is a totally different style of roti. It's called roti sarang burung. So this one's actually shaped like a bird nest. I've never had, and we heard this is a kada specialty. Like we have, I've actually heard from a few of you guys to try this when we were in Penang, but it's our first time seeing it and learning that it's from kada. So this is a really genius innovation. I'm excited. And we got this bowl of dal on the side. This one smells very rich, spice, kind of like more curry side. Instead of like kind of a plain dal, this one looks incredible. The eggs here too, they're cooked very lightly, so they kind of jiggle still, and I cracked the yolk to really get it to ooze out. I, I can't even talk about it anymore. I just gotta eat this. It looks phenomenal. Look at this nice yolky bite with that meat. Oh man, meat, potato, scallion. Oh, there's a little cilantro. Watch out. Is it? Yeah. Right, it is. All right. Check yeah. out this nice looking plate. Mm. Having coffee, susu, oh, coffee with milk, coffee with milk. That's so rich, creamy, up. yeah, crispy. Got that beefy flavor too, a little spicy. Oh yeah. man. So much going on here. I love this innovation. It's very unique. Steve eating two of them within two minutes. Mm. <laughs> It's, I love spicy, so creamy, so crispy, excited. everything you want really in this so breakfast, uh, super savory. And then I almost want another one after this. I haven't finished this yet. I almost want another one. A little bit of this dal too. Oh, this dal is so nice. Got a nice spice to it. A little cumin-y, different cloves. But really nice kick in this dal. You can tell too, it's got that chili in there. Man, incredible. Roti, sarang. All right, guys, so we are checking out this pillbox here in Kedah. This was used during the World War II. It was built by the British Army, British Empire here in Malaysia, but also it was used during the Japanese War here in Kedah. World War II against Japan, battle right here. So the pillbox really is interesting. This is where they used to stuff their machine guns and every guns they have, but Kedah, it's very wet during monsoon season. So yesterday it was raining really hard and it's flooded with rainwater. <laughs> Is he really there? Oh my God. We are heading there. I don't know if this is the highest point of like, Alor Sitar. Pretty sure it is. Maybe it is, but we're here at the green pillbox of their tower. It's beautiful view up here. It's like 360 degrees view yeah. of Alor Sitar or Kedah. And we were told that if it's not foggy or cloudy, you can see Langkawi from here. Wow. That's a pretty amazing. So pretty this place. Stadium, 
and the mosques, the old buildings, Mosque, the abandoned buildings. We are at one of the most beautiful mosques in the world, Masjid Zafir. Here of this place, apparently one of the oldest sultan in Kedah went to Sumatra and fell in love with one of the mosques there that he wanted to replicate this mosque to that design. So now it's considered one of the most beautiful mosques in the world and it's very, very, very beautiful. Very good. What what is inside? Uh, oh, gula melaka. Ah, gula mera. Gula mera. Gula mera. Seafood feast here. We're at Gulai Ikan Temenung Haji Jalil, and man, this looks incredible. So gulai is a specialty here. Gulai is this lovely-looking gravy. Look at that. So orange, a little bit of red in here. It looks phenomenal. I can. We smelled it right when we walked in here. Oh man, it smells so rich, flavorful. Oh man. man, we got a few types here. So we have the mackerel here. Wow, very tender. When I put my spoon there. We also have the tengiri fish. I just saw this one just was calling our names. This beautiful cut right here. Actually, that's what I'm gonna start with. Good. Yeah. Super good. Mmm. Oh my god. That gulai is phenomenal. It's got that beautiful like, coconut milk slash like little salty. Got that cumin. All oh, these beautiful spices in here. You want? You can order more. No, no, no. Turmeric. Man, the fish goes perfectly with this. Tengiri is perfect match with it. Also nice, we're gonna, I'm gonna bungee this gulai on this rice later too. But now I'm gonna try the mackerel. Mm. This one's wonderful too. A little more on the oily side of the fish, but it's still really nice. Very soft and tender when you see it. That gulai is incredible. I can just drink this gulai by the bottle. That's how good it is. All right, so we also have other things here. We have this pineapple curry, though good, and this ikan kelly that's deep fried, looks so crunchy. Whoa. So good. This right, is freshly so, fried. All right, so we were told how to eat this only in Kedah. You bungee your rice with the gulai and soy sauce. Kedah brand. I try that. Looks like ketchup mondays. Mmm. It elevated the flavor of um, the gulai. Wow. I love it. Thank you. Do it with the hands. Got the special ketchup gulai bungee on that rice. Here we go. Get a big, so much fish in here. Mmm. Gulai rice is always best eaten with hands. Like with nasi kantar, oh man. <laughs> 